The density of any substance is calculated by this equation right here, density equals mass over volume. This is also true for gases. However, for gases, mass is not typically one of the variables that we usually measure. Gases are usually measured in terms of their pressure or their volume or their number of moles or their temperature or some combination of these. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take this equation, density equals mass over volume, and convert that into something that uses variables that are more gas friendly. We're going to do that by combining the density equation, the traditional density equation, with the ideal gas equation, PV equals nRT. If we rearrange the ideal gas equation to solve for the volume variable, we end up with nRT divided by p. And what we're going to do is take this term right here and we are going to plug that into the density equation in place of v. That's going to give us this equation right here. Density equals mass over volume for a gas which is nRT divided by p. I'm going to clean this equation up by multiplying the top and the bottom of the equation by the inverse of nRT over P. So I'm multiplying both the top and the bottom by P over nRT. That cancels this portion of the equation out and I'm left with M times P, M times P divided by nRT, nRT. And now what I'm gonna do is take these five variables and just kind of split them in half. So I'm gonna take the M N variable and I'm gonna put that in parentheses right there. And then I'm gonna leave the PRT variables together like that. M over N is grams because it's mass over moles because it's N. Grams per mole is what we know as the molecular weight or the molar mass. So the density of a gas can be calculated by taking the molecular weight of the gas molecule, multiplying it by the pressure, dividing by our ideal gas constant R and the temperature as well. Let's take a look at how we can use that equation um, to calculate the density of SiCl4. And forgive me, my software does not allow me to enter in subscripts or superscripts. So that is supposed to be SiCl4, like you would expect to see it. So we're being asked to calculate the density of this particular compound. The density of a gas is going to be the molecular weight or the molar mass of the gas times the gas's pressure over the constant R times the temperature. So we do need to know the molecular weight of SiCl4. We're going to get that number by going to the periodic table, looking up the average atomic mass for one silicon atom and for four chlorine atoms, and we're going to get something in the ballpark of 168 grams per mole. So we'll plug that in for the molecular weight, 168 grams per mole, We'll multiply this by the pressure that's given to us in the problem, 0.997 atmospheres, and the ideal gas constant, 0 0.08206. Definitely want to keep track of your units in this problem because we're going to have a lot of unit canceling going on here. And the temperature, which is 358K. There's a lot of parentheses going on here too. So let's take a look at how these units are going to cancel out for us. Um, first of all, our atmosphere units will cancel right there. Our Kelvin units are going to cancel. Moles will cancel. And when we do the math on this, we're left with units of grams per liter, which is standard unit of density for a gas. This guy is 5.7 grams per liter. Here's another way that we could use the density equation for a gas. This problem, we're being asked to calculate the molecular weight or, or the molar mass from the density and other properties of the gas as well. So for this problem, we're going to have to rearrange the density equation because, again, density is not what we're solving for in this problem. We're just simply using it to, to get to the molecular weight. So we want to rearrange this to isolate the molecular weight variable because that's what we're trying to solve for. And that is going to be density over P over RT. I'm getting that by dividing both sides by P over RT. So this is a fraction with a fraction. We're going to have to be really careful when we set this up and also when we enter it into our calculator. The density is 1.95 grams per liter, that is the top, 
and that is divided by the pressure, which is 1.50 atmospheres, divided by the ideal gas constant, 0 0.08206 liters atmospheres per mole Kelvin, and multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin, which is 300. So before we put these numbers into our calculator, let's just double check to make sure that our units are gonna cancel the way we want them to cancel. Uh, we have the atmosphere unit canceling, we have the liters canceling, we have Kelvin canceling. We'll end up with units of grams per mole, which is appropriate for molecular weight. We also wanna be really careful about how we enter these into our calculator, make sure that we're using a lot of parentheses, um, I would probably solve this portion of the equation first and then do 1.95 divided by whatever that might be. This works out to be 32 grams per mole.